Hey guys, Metal Driver here bringing you another WWE Elite review. Today I'll be looking at the Bret Hart vs. Goldberg Elite 2 pack. So looking at the front of the box you see this really cool Monday Nitro design. And on the sides you see an image of Bret Hart and Goldberg. The back of the box continues with the WCW Monday Nitro aesthetic. Features images of Bret Hart and Goldberg. Stats and a read-up of this set. The stats for Bret Hart include from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weight of 235 pounds, and a height of 6 feet, with a finisher, the sharpshooter. Stats on Goldberg, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 285 pounds, and a height of 6 feet 4 inches, with a finisher, the jackhammer. The description states, in 1999, Bret Hitman Hart and Goldberg were two of the biggest stars in WCW. Both were former champions. Both were made eventers. It was only a matter of time before they collided. On March 29th, they did just that. Bret issued a challenge to Goldberg and baited the big man into spearing him. However, the spear appeared to knock out both men. The excellence of execution revealed he was wearing a steel plate under his jersey, sparking a rivalry that lasted over a year. Alright, now that we have looked at the box, let's go ahead and open this set up and take a closer look at Bret Hart and Goldberg. Alright, and here is Bret Hart and Goldberg out of the packaging. But first, let's take a look at the accessories that they come with. So both figures come with a set of interchangeable hands. Bret Hart comes with gripping hands. And then Goldberg has a set of wider gripping hands. Goldberg also has an interchangeable head sculpt. And then Bret Hart comes with a pair of sunglasses, a steel plate, a WCW Nitro shirt, and the WCW United States Championship belt. So looking at the interchangeable Goldberg head sculpt, we have seen this before. This was the exact same head that came on the entrance great Goldberg figure. So this is well done. It's really well painted. The paint apps on this one came out very nicely. Then looking at the WCW Monday Nitro shirt. So it's using the same material that we've seen before with these soft good shirts. It's got the Monday Nitro logo so that looks really good. Now, it is unfortunate that we didn't get the jersey, because that is what Bret Hart wore during the segment where he wore the plate underneath. So that's a bit inaccurate that we didn't get that, but I do like this shirt. This is nice. And then here is the steel plate. So it's got some texturing here, some indents. And then you've got the straps. So you've got some silver details here, some buttons. Same thing on the other side, and then you can strap this on the Bret Hart figure. So we're going to go ahead and do that so we can see how that looks. Alright, so here's the steel plate, so it fits perfectly on Bret Hart. There you can see the straps on the back, so that looks really good. And let's go ahead and put the shirt on. Alright, so here's the nitro shirt on top of the plate. So as you can see, it's pretty clear that he's wearing something underneath. So there's the plate. So it kind of makes his torso look a little funny. The shirt does fit snug on him with the plate underneath. So again, it would have been cooler had we gotten a jersey that would have fit a little more loosely on him, would have hidden the plate better. However, you could still reenact the segment with this attire. And then here are the sunglasses on Bret Hart. Alright, and then the last piece of accessory to look at, in my opinion the best accessory from this set, is the WCW United States Championship belt. So this looks really good. It's nice and detailed. I like how this looks. This is really cool to finally have this in my collection. So definitely I would say this is the highlight of the set. Alright, so let's take a look at Goldberg first, since he has the simplest design. So looking at the head sculpt, we have received this head sculpt before. This came with Elite 74 Goldberg. So the sculpt work is good, the paint is good for the most part. Mine, however, had some extra paint on the nose right here some pink paint so I don't know if that came from the Bret Hart figure I tried scratching a little bit off there's still some left but other than that it looks good the paint on the eyes look good paint on the eyebrows are good as well same thing with the mouth and the beard just had a little bit of that extra paint and look at the body so we have seen this body before not a whole lot of paint on the figure he's got black gloves black trunks black knee pads black boots so these are just molded in black plastic Again, not a whole lot of paint, with the exception of the chest hair. So I did want to note that this chest hair paint pattern is very similar to the Elite 74 Goldberg. In fact, I think it's identical. But when it comes to the entrance grate, that one's slightly different. So as you can see, the chest hair is a lot thicker 
on this version. And then the other paint deco that he has is his tattoo, which looks okay. I can tell there's a, some slight mispaint here. It's a little bit blurry. It's not very crisp or too clean looking. But other than that, it's just a standard classic Goldberg. So if you did miss out on the entrance, great. This is a nice one to pick up so you can have your classic WCW Goldberg figure. All right, and now let's take a look at Bret Hart. So looking at the Bret Hart head sculpt, this is pretty good. Now this isn't a brand new head sculpt. We have seen this released on the Ultimate Edition Bret heart figure that one had multiple head sculpts so this is though the first time we are seeing this on an elite figure so the sculpt work is good the paint came out very well on this figure the eyes look good the mouth looks good even looks like he has some stubble and then the hair is sculpted really well it's got his curls just a solid black all right then looking at the torso so the singlet here it's black with some pink trim going around so for the most part it looks good it does seem like there's some missing paint so right there you can see it's missing some pink. Then looking at the abdomen part, you've got the heart with the skull and the wings. So that's painted pretty well for the most part. It does look like there's a slight missing paint right there on the pink. Overall, not too bad on that. It is disappointing that there's some missing paint there. And on the back, it's just black and pink. Not a whole lot up there. On the arms, he's got his elbow pads. His wrist tape is painted. And then the hands that he comes with, straight out of the box, is his open hand so he can do his signature taunt and pose that he does when he comes down to the ring. And then I did want to note that on the left arm, plastic is kind of warped here. This leaves the arm a little bit loose here. So I'm going to see if I can heat that up, fix that. That might help tighten this peg here. Looking at the lower body, so he's got pink tights and he's got his traditional Bret Hart design. So it's got these flames and hearts. So the paint came out really well. The line work looks good. Doesn't seem to be any major paint bleeding. The lettering on Hitman looks really good as well. It's very crisp, clean, so not a whole lot of sloppiness. Then looking at the other leg, again, you get the same design. You got Hitman, which is painted very well. The line work looks pretty good. Maybe there's some slight mispaint there, but it's not really all that noticeable. Then on the back, you got some more flames. You've got Hitman and the Skull, which again, painted very well. So that looks really good, so I'm glad the paint came out well on my figure. Sometimes I have bad luck when it comes to paint apps, especially when I pre-order things. And then looking at the boots, they're white boots with pink. Around, you've got the black at the bottom, and you've got a star here. So that star came out pretty well. And then the other boot has the same design, same star. Paint came out really well, looks really good. And then you've just got some pink knee pads. All right, going over the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint, which allows it to go uh, decently up. So the hair does not hinder too much of the articulation. It is a soft plastic. The head can go slightly down. It can turn side to side and it can tilt. Shoulders have a hinge, which allows it to go that high up. It can rotate all the way around. There is a bicep swivel and a single jointed elbow. And the elbow pad does not really hinder the articulation at all. So you get a good 90 degrees. And the wrist has a swivel and a hinge. There's an ab crunch which allows him to go that far forward and that far back. And he has a waist swivel. There's a ball joint at the hips which allows the legs to go really far out. They can go that high up so that's really good range. He has a thigh cut, double jointed knees which also have a good range of motion. There's a cut at the top of the boot, a hinge at the ankle which allows it to go that high up, that far down, and he does have some slight ankle pivot. All right, looking at the articulation on Goldberg. So the head is on a ball joint, which allows it to go that high up, that far down, which isn't too bad. It can turn side to side, and it can tilt. Shoulder has a hinge, which allows it to go that high up. It can rotate all the way around. Bicep swivel, and a single jointed elbow. The wrists have a swivel and a hinge. Ab crunch allows him to go that far forward and that far back. He has a waist swivel. Ball joint at the hips which allow it to go that far out and that high up. A thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the boot, and then a hinge at the ankle which allows it to go that high up, that far down, and some slight ankle pivot. Alright, and here's a comparison with the new Elite 2-Pack Bret Hart next to the WrestleMania 10 Elite Bret Hart figure. So these two have a similar attire design. The biggest difference is the size of the skulls and hearts in the middle, and then this one has some white trimming. You can also tell that there's a difference in the pink colors. 
All right, then here he is next to the Ultimate Edition Bret Hart figure. And again, you can tell that there is a difference with the tone in the pink color. All right, and here's the Elite 2-Pack Goldberg next to the Elite 74 Goldberg, which share the same head sculpt. And then here's the new Elite 2-Pack Goldberg with the screaming head sculpt next to the Entrance Greats Goldberg figure. And finally, here is the Elite 2-Pack Goldberg with the alternate head sculpt next to the Entrance Greats Goldberg figure. So as you can see, with this head sculpt, both figures are nearly identical. The only noticeable difference is the paint app on the chest hair between the two figures. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on this Elite Bret Hart vs. Goldberg 2-pack? I think this is a really cool 2-pack set. I'm a fan of both wrestlers. I really like the Bret Hart figure. I like how they're using one of the head sculpts from the Ultimate Edition Bret Hart figure. I like the outfit design. I like the pink trunks with the black top. I even like the darker, almost reddish pink tone on it. This is essentially what his outfit looked like during his WCW days. And then the Goldberg figure, even though I already have the entrance greats, I think this one really is the better version of the two because he has the interchangeable hands and interchangeable head sculpt. And lastly, the best thing about this set, you get the WCW version of the United States Championship belt. So really for me, this set is a win. I really don't see any issues with this set other than maybe the inaccuracy with the Monday Nitro shirt. Would have been better if we had gotten the jersey instead. But other than that, I think this is a cool set. If you're a fan of WCW, if you're a fan of Bret Hart or Goldberg, I think this is worth picking up. So if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so you can see more WWE Elite reviews. As always, stay tuned till the end to see pictures of these figures in action, and I'll see you next time.